Hey guys, Jason here, bringing you another Skyrim mods video. And as you can see, uh, right off the get-go here, we got this uh, nice female body mod. Uh, it's a female female body replacer, and it's like a mixture of a bunch of different mods. It says the owner of the mod or the maker of the mod. Um, it's definitely by far my favorite um, female body in the game that I've played with so far. Um, yeah. It's definitely the best. I mean, it looks good. Uh, nice wide ass and, uh, yeah, nice a lot of things. But anyway, um, yeah, it's, it's fun to look at. But anyway, uh, most of the mods that we're going to be looking at today are player homes. You guys know I like my player homes. So first we're going to start off with this White Run Manor. I don't think it got a full five stars, but I'm pretty sure it got, like, four stars. And, okay, so you open it up to a fucking uh, wall. But anyway, let's see what we got going on in here. It's just pretty pretty big it looks like um, I don't know what do we got going on here is there it looks like doors there open to Grand Hall okay so it seems like there's gonna be a bunch of doors um, like loading screens I don't like that shit what the fuck dude yeah I don't like that shit you know what I mean when you're loading from from thing to thing but can I hit this shit off here no, I can't even... Oh, yeah, there we go. Sweet. Um, Alright, and here's a bed right here. It's kind of weird to have your bedroom right here. Dragon Board's belonging trunk. Dragon Board and belongings trunk. Skyrim. Open door. What we got here? Okay, so we got our, like, staff enchanter. That's pretty wild. Uh little miniature chests and shit like that so yeah here's your crafting room and stuff like that looks like we got some yep we got some books here uh, I do like my bookshelves it's kinda weird how that was laid out there eh, this is actually isn't too bad you got your your shit there to put your your um, armor and then you got your stuff here to put your weapons and armor and then you got weapons racks right here let's see what the grand fucking hall is all about I don't like that shit, how you open up the doors and you see, like, uh, block walls there. That's kind of defeats the whole purpose. But, anyway, um, let's see, what is this here? That's just a decoration. There's vampire's blood. This is all used using, uh, stuff that comes with the game, I believe. This is, looks like the stuff from the, uh, vampire's fucking, um, thing. That was kind of weird. I don't know how that's a grand hall. And I guess this is if you're a fucking vampire. Blood Shrine. Okay, activate. Doing nothing. Uh, very weird, I will say. Um, here's another shrine. Oh, shit. Alright. Um, yeah, I'm, I don't know. Like, it's nice and everything. Uh, everything you, you need is, like, really in that first area. You know what I mean? Like, this grand hall right here is, is if you ask me, it's kind of like, I don't know, I don't, really, I don't really care for it at all. Um, you know what I mean? This here, I like this whole section here. It's such a big looking fucking house, though, for this little section here. You know what I mean? And let's see what's on this door here, if it goes anywhere special. If not, we're going to go right on to the next mod. All right, guys? All right. Yeah, just like a porch here. All right. So pretty much they use this big ass fucking thing for no good reason whatsoever, just to make it look like it's it's huge. I'm I'm guessing. Does this go inside? All right, let's see where this brings us, cause I did not see this. Okay, yeah, this is this is weird. I'm White Run Manor. I'm not really liking it. I'm not digging it. See, it didn't ask me if I wanted to open that. In fact, you can't open it. Alright, whatever. Uh, I'll be right back with the next mod, guys. Alright, guys, I'm back. And this next one is called Seagull's Rest. It's by the Solitude Docks. And uh, it's a player home. You can come up here and you could actually buy it. A fully furnished 5,000. So you can use your key to relock the front door although I don't know what it matters because we're not in a multiplayer universe I'd like this here this is really cool uh, this oven here 
and what do we got here a little like patio to stand at and oh man i like that i like the view that we got going on there all you gotta jump up there to see it uh and there's a walkway that goes all the way down to the solitude docks which if you ask me is pretty cool it's it has a nice nice look to it i like how the the stones are there you know what i mean it's like built into the side of the mountain but let's go into this bitch right here and and see what we got going on in here um I don't know. I, I I love these little player homes, like these little cottages and shit like that. Let's see, what's that? It's open seagulls rest. That must be like an upstairs. Oh, this is fucking cool, man. Look at this shit, dude. Look at that old old time faucet. And there's some silverware and shit. Oh my god, this is this is just great. I love it. I absolutely love it. This is like this is probably my favorite home so far. I say that every episode. I know that, but I mean this this is cool guys. Look at there's actually like a real sofa there. Um Oh my god, this is this isn't like lore friendly, I would I would say. It's not because you know what I mean, we got like real sofas and stuff like that. So this should be the bedroom I'm assuming. Oh my god, look at that. I wonder if I can jump down there. That's pretty cool. You must be able to, but here's my bed. And here's my meth lab right next to my bed. It's probably not good to have a meth lab right next to your bed. But, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive these days. So, I love this this one. It's it's small. It's it's good. Let's see. Yep, yep. That's, I don't wonder why, how it does that. It must just, like, warp you up there. I love it, though. It's it's such such good detail in here. It's It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love it. So, um, yeah, there's just enough storage room for for you know just what you need, and it's uh, it's great. So, anyway, guys, uh, on to the next mod. All right, guys, I don't know what the fuck is going on here. This is like the weirdest shit ever. Um, we spawned in here. Uh, where is this going? Okay, we're going to the Valley of Peace. I couldn't find the entrance. I guess you have to kill that demon to get there. Uh, this this mod is called the Valley of Peace. And you get there, I'm um, assuming by killing them. It says in the thing, if you can't find it, you just go to your your uh, console right there. And you go up COC uh, Pathway to Peace. And what happened was it spawned me right there to the, in front of a demon. And I had to fight to the death. Which I did not fight. I just put my console, clicked on him and hit kill. Need any help? I f you found your friend. Oh, now I can't fucking hear anything because uh, I turned the volume all the way down. So let's let's turn this shit up again here. It had music on, extremely fucking loud. What do you say now? Oh yeah. Prove it. Prove it. Okay. How about you eat it? Whoa, motherfucker! Holy shit! You almost put a fucking antler up my ass. Um, I just want to punch you in the face, you ugly fuck. Uh, anyway, this is this said it was like a pretty cool area. There's supposed to be like a, a place that you could buy or you could live at, and there's like a new blacksmith and shit like that. Um, it looks very nice. I like how this stuff's all falling down and shit like that. That's pretty cool. We got fire here. Very nice scenery. Valley, the, the peace cabin. Is this my cabin? Uh, I don't know. I don't know whose cabin this is. So let's go inside and, and take a ponder dick around. Yeah, this must be my cabin. Oh, this is pretty cool. I like this. Um... The only thing is, there's no fucking bedroom though, so, oh, there we go. Cool. So we got ourselves a bedroom, we got ourselves a wardrobe, and another wardrobe. Wait a minute. Uh-huh. And we got ourselves like a little mine down here. And, oh, that's pretty cool. So we go down here if we wanted to, and fight these assholes and and I'm assuming like win some 
some pretty good shit there. I don't know why. I don't wouldn't want that next to my fucking bed, to be honest with you. So we're gonna leave here. Let's go see what else we got going on in the Valley of Pias. I like the waterfall effects around here. It's it is pretty cool, you know. It is pretty cool. So let's see what's that there. Um, we got a mill here. Nothing going on there. On the pictures, there was a bunch of homes though. Like that's what I'm not understanding. I want to see where all these other homes are. I don't see nothing over there. There's the port toll. Um, let's go around the bend here and see what we got going on. Is that a bear? Yeah, that's that's a bear. Okay. Holy shit, that motherfucker is strong as fucking hell. So let's go with that. And let's go with that. Alright. Alright. Oops. Alright, he is strong as fuck, yo. Uh, Iron Mace. There we go. We are level 20. 6, like, we should be pretty much like Bone, bone Break Breaker. Alright, there we go. Oh my gosh, eat some fucking balls, dude. Look at that sweet ass beating up these fucking bears and shit. And it looks like we got some more stuff going on down here. It looks like they have their own music too, which is pretty cool. Kind of like that. Uh, let's see what we got going on over here now. All right. Oh, here, here we go. This is what this is what I saw in the picture. And here's the horse that it comes with too. Right, horse. Can I, can I just ride him for shits and grins? Yep. Oh, sweet. Look at that. That's pretty nice horsey. I like it. It's a nice little village here, you know. This is a very nice player made map if you ask me. I like it. This must be the jail I'm assuming. Very unusual. Um, that looks very familiar. I think that's actually in Whiterun or on the outside of Whiterun I want to say. Very interesting stuff around here. I would really like to go around and like literally like just check some shit out and and really explore it you know oh we got more horses here whoa what the fuck okay and we got a boat over here oh wow look at this shit here this is this is fucking cool man you know and I don't know if they're gonna upgrade it some more or what they're gonna do I really don't know and just jumped off the fucking edge there I like how she has a mace hanging from her fucking uh, thong that's that's pretty cool. I like that. Ooh, look at that. Looks like I shut up her asshole. And we got this boat up here. This is this is pretty cool. Um, it's a little blah, if you ask me. But I'm assuming that the person, the monitor, is going to be adding some more stuff to this. Uh, I would definitely assume so, because this is very blank, you know, blank page stuff here. And uh, let's see. What do we got going on over here? And there's like a whole ocean out there. Which is pretty cool. Alright, look at them big fucking tits there, boy. And let's go into a couple of these houses here and just check things out. Alright, that's pretty nifty there. I like that. Let's check this one out here. See what we got going on up in here. Up in here. What is this fucking place? Hunting Guild? Talk to Felix about the challenge. Okay, we don't have time to do that. But as you can see, there's like uh, challenges and shit you could do. I'm, I'm guessing. Oops, unclick. I'm guessing that, um, you know, you could do and you could become like part of this guild. So uh, let's go ahead and check out what kind of perks you get if you, you know, join them. Which I'm assuming that's probably what it is. So far, pretty empty. Uh, I'm assuming, though, that they're going to be adding more shit. It's probably like any like Thieves Guild. Um, the Dark Brotherhood and shit like that. You probably get, you know what I mean, like a fucking bedroom. Yep, there you go. Uh, that you can call your your own and uh, and all that shit. So there we got another bedroom. They need to add some more stuff, like some shit that's just like floating around, you know, uh, just like. Ooh, what do we got here, guys? 
Valley of the Hunter. Let's go check this out, and that's going to be the end, end of the this video. You know what I mean? You've seen a little bit of the video, so I can definitely can suggest that you uh, you check out some more. And I guess this looks like this looks like some kind of crazy shit going on here. It looks like some something for people to watch. Pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, like I was saying, I definitely would recommend this one. Um, I'm probably going to take a look at it a little bit deeper and see what kind of quest they got um, because look at this this is fucking sweet man this this really is I'm guessing you have to go get some crazy <gasps> excuse me it's crazy saber tooth here or some shit like that I don't know I couldn't tell you but that's what I'm assuming so anyway uh, it's been fun but I gotta run thank you guys so much for watching and please please stay tuned for the next episode. Alright, that was fucking stupid.